everyone. Welcome to researchmd.com. Another antibiotic presentation. We're going to continue series. Please make sure you review the previous lectures. So let me introduce myself, Dr. Premier Charia, um, practicing physician in the United States, program director, internal medicine, transitional residency, uh, associate professor of medicine, two large medical schools in the United States. And um, so we're going to continue our journey into antibiotic, okay? We, the topic uh, is about the antibiotic blocking the protein production, okay? So today we're going to talk about aminoglycoside, a very, very important drug. Even for like an examination purpose, we need to know. In clinical situations also, we need to know that. So the first thing we have to do is what? Look at the structures. How does it do? You got two amino sugars linked. There, there's a glycosidic linkage joining these two amino groups. That's why amino glycoside, my friend, remember, okay? Two amino group, glycosidic linkage, that's amino glycoside, okay? So when you talk about amino glycoside, there's like five to four drugs, very much you have to know. So you got streptomycin, gentamicin, topromycin, and amicacin, okay? It does a good gram-negative coverage. Not like, I mean, I would say aerobic gram negative coverage, I mean, overall together, and it does cause like some toxicities. But before we just jump into it, but we know the structure, the next thing is how does it act, okay? The mechanism of action is very, very important for examination purpose, okay? Aminoglycoside, they, uh, they bind to the amino acyl site of the 16S subunit of the 30S ribosomal subunit, okay? The main keyword is 30S subunit, they act on it. And they are misreading the genetic code, inhibition of translocation, and final, the peptide synthesis is affected, okay? Now, it does have like another property. Initially penetrate the organism by disruption of the magnesium and calcium bridges of the LPS, okay? Lipopolysaccharide. This is pretty much good for gram negative. That's the one to have the LPS, okay? Gram positive doesn't have the LPS, so maybe that's why in the gram negative organism it got a very good coverage. Now, this part is inhibited like few things. That's also we need to know. They said like divalent cations, increase osmolarity, acidic pH, and anaerobic environment, okay? So they cannot you know, disrupt the the penetration of the organism is kind of hard when you have all of this, like divalent cation, increased osmolarity, acidic pH, and anaerobic. What, how does it, why is it important in the clinical situation? When you have acidic pH, like let's say if you have lung and the bronchial secretion is like the very high acidic pH, so this may not be a good drug choice, might not work, okay? And then anaerobic environment, it's not like, it's not gonna work very well, that's why you got the aerobic gram negative, just remember those two points are very, very important, okay? Now, next thing we have to look at the coverage, focus on the gram negative, remember, Aerobic gram negative, okay, because why is that? This anaerobic environment, this kind of help, I mean, it doesn't help the, I mean, the antibiotic to penetrate the organs, okay? So you got gram negative coverage, my friends, aerobic gram negative again. It does have good mycobacterial coverage, okay? Especially mycobacterial tuberculosis and mycobacterial malaria. Now, Gram positive coverage, uh, not very good. So you have to use with some other drug, like we call the synergic, um, you know, synergically active. I mean, active with the other uh, group of antibiotics. Okay. Now let's look at the major antibiotics in this group. Streptomycin. You can use it for uh, chloremia and plague, the first line agents. So we don't use that much streptomycin, but it's a first line drug against chloremia and plague. Okay. Plague actually, gentamicin. Now, why did I write this? What is wrong with this picture? I just, I mean, on, on purpose I wrote it like this. It's not a Y, it's an I, okay? So people make the common mistake, gentamicin as Y, but it's not correct, it's gentamicin. Streptomycin is Y, gentamicin is I, dobromycin is Y, and amicacin, there's no Y anyway. 
Okay, so remember that. So it's very important. Um, so instructomycin, tolerimia plague, first line agent. Dendromycin, you can also tolerimia plague. Dendromycin is like, you know, MD gram negative, MDRD infection can use. Probromycin, mainly you kind of see like uh, cystic fibrosis patient, and amicacin also be used. Now we need to know about the toxicity. What is the toxicity we need to think about? Like the ototoxicity. Where, I mean, it, it is like, a, well, let's look at the mechanism. Overactivation of the NMD receptors and increased production of free radical that damages here and autotoxicity. There's two types, auditory impairment and vestibular toxicity, okay? This is like irreversible, my friend. Okay, Re irreversible, remember that. And then nephrotoxicity, what happens is like this aminoglycoside kind of, I mean, accumulates so much into the PCT, proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney. And then after, like, you take four to five days, you see the change, kidney goes down, but it's reversible. Once you stop the drug, it is reversible, okay? So those are the major points. Let's take a step back, let's summarize. Remember, it's the antibiotic block in the protein production. How does it block? It binds to this 30 s ribosomal subunit, misleading the genetic code, inhibition of translocation, decreased peptide synthesis. That's the way it works, okay? And then it also, like, I mean, it penetrates the organism. It penetrates the organism by disruption of the magnesium calcium, but this of the LPS, lipopolysaccharide. Gram negative is the one I have lipopolysaccharide, not gram positive. Remember, and then it does not work in the divalent cation, increased osmolarity, acidic pH, and aerobic environment. So, acidic pH, lung and bronchial secretions for get it, get high pH, might not work. Okay, and aerobic environment, it might not work. That's why aerobic gram negative. So, take the point aerobic gram negative, HL plus aerobacteria, pseudomonas, a good coverage, mycobacteria, good coverage. Not too much in the gram positive, streptomycin, gentamicin, tropomycin, amicacin, autotoxicity, and nephrotoxicity. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. God bless.